Hey little bubble teenies, get ready for some squishy stuff. I got four new ones on the chopping block. Wait a minute, Bubba, wait a minute. What's going on here? You got some cottage cheese? Is that what you brought us? <laughs> Basically, we don't have a squishy chopping show today, but we do have four squishy things, very different things. We even have some kinetic rock gold. It's golden pebbles. You say it's like you have kinetic rock, but this is gold. This looks like treasure. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We got some of that. It looks so super cool. I can't wait to get to it. We also have some magical unicorn poop. Ooh. Magical unicorn poop. It's mystical and sparkly, like five plus, and mold it. It's nice. Kinda of weird, cause the other day I did a big old poop bonanza, and I had these unicorn poopy rocks. This time, it looks like a unicorn putty. Gotta get your hands on it. And look at this. Ghostbusters. Hello, oh, you got the real Ghostbuster. I forgot his name, but he's stuck in this little tube with some goblin slime. Oh yeah, that's cool. Ghostbusters. <laughs> we got this little tube here. We're gonna be taking a look at that. But the one I am most excited to show you guys is actually a homemade. I made this the other day. I made some 2% milk fat cottage cheese. Oh, cottage cheese is gross. It's like the grossest thing on the planet. How could you bring this to the Squishy Show? Are you crazy? Yeah. Well, guys, I actually didn't bring cottage cheese to the show. That would be super gross. But I made a cottage cheese slime. And I put it in this little container. And I think it's kind of cute. It really does look a little bit like the real thing. We are going to check that out. Oh, yeah, let's check that out. But let's check the other stuff first because it sounds super gross. If you know what I mean. Howdy, little squishy teenies. There's no time to waste. We gotta look at all this stuff. Let's do it. Let's do it with the one and only Kinetic Rock Hold Edition. Yeah. Definitely think we have to start with this one just because it looks so pretty. I don't know if you could see through this little plastic thing. There is so much sparkle going on there. Ooh. I tried Kinetic Rock, the regular one. It would kind of look like little sand pebbles, but this looks fancier. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that literally looks like a golden Rice Krispie Treat. It looks like a Rice Krispie Treat. Like, that is weird. Bubble, you know what's so cool about the Kinetic Rock? You can get little magical little surprises. Look at this. A rock pick, a coin, a crown, a trophy. Forget about this other stuff. We're getting the gold tools. Like my last one, I collected little, I think I got like a little shovel or a rock pick. This time you can get these cute little tools. I want the golden coins. So amazed. Here we go. Ooh. It's a little toolbox. Oh, you're joking. You got the little toolbox? It looks like a little boombox. Like a radio. That's cool. So weird. So weird. I actually thought I could only get the golden ones. I actually did get the toolbox, but I got the golden version, not the red one. Hmm. It's a goodie. Whoa. Bubble, please tell me this is not Rice Krispie Marshmallow Treat. Look at that. That's what it looks like. But it's gold and it's beautiful and it's so squishy. <sighs> this little tulip box to the side and... Check this stuff out. Ooh, it's so, so sparkly. It's got this crazy golden shine to it. You can flatten it. Let's see if you could roll it. Oh, yeah. A mix between little pebbles, like those little pebbles you put at the bottom of a fish tank, and like a Play-Doh or a marshmallow. It's like a melted marshmallow. Oh, I love it. Oh, this stuff has super weird texture. It's super weird to figure out, like, the formula. But it's a maze, and it's moldable. And it's golden. Let me poke at it like usual. Oh, yeah. It's pokey. Let me see if I can pat it, too. Patable and flattens, like a pancake. Bubble, what is that weird smell? It smells like some weird thing. What is it? Oh, so 
relaxing. I can poke and pat at this all day. It's just so relaxing. It does have kind of a funny smell, kind of like a gluey. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not too crazy about the smell, but look at it. It looks like it has little spider webs in between. I guess that's the glue or the compound holding these little pebbles together. But it is just so, so cool. I think I like the gold better than the regular one. Those look like plain old rocks, but this is a little bit better. It's even a little more squishy, this one. Is it breaky? Does it like break apart into a billion pebbly pieces? Not really, but it looks cool when it's falling. Look at that. Look at that. little golden tool box at the top of the mountain. Whoosh. Let me make some little golden meatballs. Look at that. Little meatballs. Ooh, that one's tiny. It's funny because I'm rolling these up to look like little meatballs, but they're actually looking like gold nuggets. Like little pyrite pieces. They are sticking together. That is so, so cool. This is so, so much fun to play with. I like it more than the kinetic sand. I like it a lot more. And then you can just crush it. there it is guys the first squishy thing on the menu today I loved it I absolutely loved it and it's kind of less messier than the regular one I think the gold has a little more sticky stuff in it let's move along bubble please can we move along to some ghost buster ghost buster who you gonna call who you gonna call bubble who you gonna call you gonna call this guy or this guy from gold to green ooze ooh I actually had one of these before I think it was like purple and pink I had that little Slimer guy. This time I have an actual Ghostbuster. I think his name is Venkman. Venkman, I think. Let's open it. Hilarious, Bubba. You think his name is like Venkman? Doesn't matter what his name is. This is Ecto Mini and Slam. I took the plastic wrap off. Oh, this thing is so, so cool. It's so cool. I know we're going to flip it over and slime this little Ghostbuster. Look at the top. Look at the detail on that. We got a little slimy guy. Whoosh. Let's just shake them up. Let's shake them up and get them all dizzy so we don't even see what's coming. Because I don't like the Ghostbusters. I like the ghosts. Let's get to it. Ooh, here we go. That looks kind of weird. It looks like a cheese grater. Here is our little mini guy. He's got the gun. He's got the suit. He looks like he's got a little slime already. That's so, so cute. It's like a green. It's like a little green detail. Sorry, little Ghostbuster man. You're about to get slimed because Bubble and me don't like you. We like the ghosts. Here's a close-up of this crazy dude. He looks really good. Oh, this dude doesn't even look like he's holding a Ghostbuster gun. He looks like he's playing an electric guitar. He is like, not good. I'm gonna knock him down, cause I don't like him. Blah. And Bubba, like one more question. What's going on with those eyebrows? They're super like, evil looking. Ooh, so now that I took this thing apart, we got lots of little pieces and contraptions going on, but I think I know how to do it. We gotta peel back the plastic. Peel the back bar, and here's the Ghostbuster slime. It's like an ooze. It's amazing. This, guys, a Ghostbuster slime. Oh, I love the texture. I wish you could feel this. It's so super slimy. It's kind of sticky. Ooh, it's actually gross. It feels like boogers or snot. Making a mess. Yeah. Seriously, Bubba, just like throw it at him already. All those ghosty boogers. Yeah. Ooh, I don't even like touching this stuff. This is like the slimiest slime I think I've ever felt. It is so, so sticky. Sticks all over. Let's put this back. We gotta get to business. Ooh. Yeah, Bubba, let's get to real business and slime this Ghostbuster guy. I'm gonna trap him. Look at him. He's pathetic. He's pathetic, Bubba. He's already dripping slime. Already. 
Honey, so I put it back in there as much as I could. It's all over the table. I just can't get a hold of this stuff. And I got this little top that goes on here. Let me put my little, hmm. Oh, I think I'll put them like this. Standing up. Right above, so basically it's like an egg timer, and this little guy won't stand. So we're gonna flip it and slime him. Ew, you guys, look at that. He's laying at the bottom, and this thing is covering him. It's trapping him in the goo. Look at the top, it's empty. Let me flip it. This is amazing. Let me flip. Well, there he is, stuck to the top. Oh, it's dripping. Ew, look at our little Ghostbuster. And it's all dripping to the bottom of the cup. And I still cannot get this stuff off of my hands. I'm trying to pull it off. Oh, it's so gooey. It's like boogers. It's real boogers. Let me flip it one more time. There he is. He is going to get slammed out. Oh, he's getting slimed already. He's getting trapped in the slime chamber. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, he's a goner. He's a goner. So it's one cup empty, one cup full. Oh, I could literally play with this forever. I just wish it was a little less sticky. I guess that's part of it. It's like the slime in the movie. Ooh. Craziness. Pop it out. Get our little mini fig. Ooh, he's covered. He is covered. There it is, guys. Sticky little slimy thing number two. We still got two more to go. Get rid of this. So slimy. Oh, but look, I'm dipping him. I'm dipping him in the slime. Head first. Look at that. So funny. 2% milk fat, low fat cottage cheese. That is gross. That is gross. Anyone in the mood for a little cottage cheese? Actually, I like cottage cheese once in a while with a little bit of watermelon. But this ain't the real thing. It is some homemade fluffy slime. Let's take a look at it. Ooh. Eee, it's chunky. Ew, bubble! This is so cottage cheesy, but it doesn't smell like cottage cheese. Thank goodness. Ew. Oh, this stuff is so squishy. I actually love it. It's one of my favorite slimes I ever made. It's kind of fluffy, a little bit crunchy, and it just looks so, so real. I mean, it looks like the real deal, but it doesn't smell. It doesn't have that, that, like, uh, hmm, sour smell. Smells like glue. Oh, you seriously should have thrown a little bit of real cottage cheese in there to give it the real smell. But I'm glad you didn't, because we didn't need that sourness going on. Oh, this is unbelievable. So cheesy. Ew, I got a big old chunk of cottage cheese on my chopping block. That is something I never thought I would see, but here it is. Oh, it's is so, so cool. It is like the coolest. It is so stretchy, and it is a big piece. Love it. Look at all those little cottage cheesy chunks. They're actually little styrofoam balls I popped in there, but it looks so, so real. And it does. Take a whiff of the squishy, ooey gooey cottage cheese. Is it sour enough? Get a pokey pokey. I could literally poke at this all day. It's so relaxing. It's super smooth. And it's just one of my faves. I think it's so, so cute. There it is, your sweetie pass, my little cottage cheese slime. I love it. I love it so, so much. Super easy to make. I just used a little bit of glue, Elmer's glue, a little borax, some of those little styrofoam balls. I picked them up at the Dollar Tree and I mixed it all up. And there you go. Looks like real food. Seriously, Bubba, let me poke it a couple more times because it is just mesmerizing and super relaxing. Okay, good. Let's seal it up so it doesn't dry out. Love you, Bubba. Super sad, I can't believe it, time flies when you are squishing stuff. So we're on to number four. It is unicorn poop. 
world is eternally unbelieved, you're finding all the unicorn poop in the universe. You had rocks, now you have like magical putty, or whatever it is. Open it. Not only we missed it, we have a magical note. Rare and wondrous, your unicorn poop can melt, stretch, and bounce. Marvel at its magical glory. Magical. And go! So here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so sparkly. This, seriously, it looks like my nail polish or it looks like lip gloss. So, so cute. Pop it open. Ooh. Bubble, I can't believe it. It's just so jelly like. Almost like a baby jello jiggler or something. It's translucent, but sparkly. It's beautiful. I don't know why, but for some reason I was thinking, is this like scented? I don't know why. It looks like it would smell good. Definitely not. It doesn't smell so great. Ooh, it kind of smells like mud or some kind of dirt. But it's super, super pretty and stretchy. It's almost like a pink liquid glass. Well, you're right. Exactly. It's like a pink liquid glass, but sparkly. And it's pokey. A little tidbit about this stuff. I have not had this, but I have had the liquid glass putty, and it's so, so pretty when you get it and crystally clear. But once you start playing around and folding it and molding it, it gets kind of cloudy. So it doesn't keep that like, icy look, but it's still going to look good. Seriously, why is it called unicorn poop? Because it doesn't look like poops at all. Not one bit. Why? There you go, the magical unicorn poop. I actually love it. It doesn't remind me of poopy at all, but I think if you kind of mold it and you let it sit for a little bit, it just melts. It's like a melting putty. Pop it back in. It's a good one. It's almost like a gel. Pretty container, too. Oh, your chopper is ending up super rare today with like cottage cheese and gold rock. What is that? So guys, time is up. We looked at everything and I have to say I just love everything. One more than the next. So, so cool. But I think my fave was still my little cottage cheese slime because it was a do-it-yourself, extra special to me. I also love the kinetic golden rock. Oh, play with that all day. So I like the slime, but not the little Ghostbuster dude. He's gross. And the magical poop was like, okay. Love it for you guys, so leave me a comment. Let me know of all this little squishy stuff here. What was your fave? And we're gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. If you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.